America and the way America sees God and um, the way God is seen in a, in a, in a I've had Muslims that explain that you know to, we don't see God as the Father and other people. Yeah, we do, but it's different. It's just a it's just a conceptual understanding of trying to help children understand and be better and be loving, more obedient children and stuff like that. The Prophet, the Messiah, Jesus does refer to him as the Father a couple times, and many people and many prophets and messiahs do refer to the creation source, the seed of life, as the Father because it's very understandable. I provide the seed, she's the womb, she provides this, but the seed and the thing are made of the Eve is made of Adam's own rib, so the planet is made of God's own self too, but he has to see to produce more life for procreation. It's science, math, proofs, understanding molecular connections and relations. Understood? It's based on science. It's based on the life components, the eternal life components that have the life source, and that's what we see God in as in, in quote, more Eastern thought. Yeah, Buddhism, this and that. And also in Native American thought, too, so it's not just Eastern thought. <laughs> and it's not Western thought, it's just thought. <laughs> you can't break it into East, West, or whatever, stuff like that, because we're omnipotent, omnis, and God is in, in, in every and any and all things. So God is in the Westerner and the Easterner. The Native Americans think very similar in their creation, quote, myths and stories. <laughs> the crow people went down and dove, the duck goes deep down lake, brings up the mud, it evolves into the crow people, and the yeah, similar creation stories of the clay. No, that's just dumb. The fowl were made before the people. It's part of Genesis. Oh, I feel stupid. You should. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But how, the what, the, it's just the story of the fowl being made before the people. They made the birds and the raptors and the, yeah. And the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. Something new was added from, and it was from the water and the components in the water, the life and stuff. So something in the water, something emerged with the water from an astral impact that did this. It, so it's a creation story that explains things. And yeah, just a lot of the creation stories are like this. And you just have to understand that they're, yeah, they become mythological over time because it's hard to comprehend and understand. Quantum physics are hard to understand and comprehend. Understood. <laughs> If you make it in a more simplistic, simply explainable, tangible, practical, applicable kind of understanding, it works for people. It just has to work. But you've got to do it in the most loving and intelligent way possible. You have to be patient and you have to be able to work with it and explain it and convey it and turn it into practicality, tangible, working everyday understanding. Knowledge. We can't let them believe exactly. A lot of the stuff you're like, no, that's you. You're not going to turn into a goat tomorrow. You're not going to, no, this is it. You see what I'm saying? Man, you are, I am intelligent, but it's not me. It's God. It's not me. It's God. It's not me. There's your effect. God is not an imaginary friend, a guy in the sky doing, I am the eye in the sky looking at you. No, it's not that. It's working through me. It's relative group collective. It's part of relativity. It's relative and molecular understanding. I'm a quantum physicist, molecular scientist relative understanding scientist. I understand relativity and can explain it to you in many different shapes and forms and tangible, applicable, everyday applications that can make your life a better life. That's what the Messiah is in the Hebrew comes. But you're only this much Hebrew. That's cool. It goes through my mother's maternal. It's explained scientifically and molecularly through the Gospels many, many times again. My grandmother's line through my mother's line is Kramer. It goes through the maternal line through the Hebrew tribe which we know as Hebrews, we're all related, so it's all the same tribe. It's just when it went through this, quote, name of people, of tribe, of molecular construction. It's about molecules transfiguring in the similitude of itself. It's explained over and over and again in the Gospels. It's science. Shut the up. S-T-F-U. Shut the fuck up. Sit down, humble up, and be taught. I love you, Richard Dawkins, and the rest of your fucking friends, but shut the fuck up. These religious people, some are superstitious, crazy, psycho morons that are trying to destroy the world so a magical guy can come from the sky magically and fix it. I ain't agree, but you're not 
in helping, okay? Stop being such an arrogant dick and distracting everybody from trying to love each other and have patience to speak to one another and explain to them that we're not talking about a magical God. We're talking about relativity, understanding, and a creation and life source that goes beyond your comprehension. You dingle dick, dumb ass moron, shut the fuck up. You too, Psycho123. We are going to be buddies by the time this day is done. Huh? We are. You'll love me. You're going to love me. You will. All right? I'm crazy. I go off the hook on the next feed on this. I'm all over the place. I'm connecting to all bunch of things, and it's really just going through me really hard. And then I use it up, and then it comes into this, and then it goes into sports. It was a Saturday. It's hard to talk on a Saturday. I don't like to talk on a Saturday. I for home to get a wife, stay home and garden, enjoy the kids. I just meditate and contemplate in prayer. Yeah, and then on Sunday morning, <laughs> rain is falling. <laughs> Still some shovels, covers, share yeah, some skin. Doom, doom, boom. <laughs> Paint a picture with my <laughs> driving slow on Sunday. Driving slow on Sunday morning is driving in the. I ain't driving no damn car. I'm driving, <laughs> driving home to the point that I love that woman and I'm so happy to have her on Sunday morning. <laughs> Cause I want a Sunday kind of love. Want to love us past Saturday night. <laughs> you know, you don't go out looking. I want a love that's on the square. Because, yeah, because you can't, I want to light that fire before Saturday. So every Saturday I keep it holy in any way that we can, in any way that we should, and we'll see how we work it out. That's between me and her and God and none of the rest of y'all. And so that's the way it works, but you try to keep it as holy as you can. Try your best. And on Sunday morning, damn, I love Sunday mornings. And I don't want it to be where I partied all night and then, <laughs> and where I'm walking along, seeing a boy with a can that he's kicking. <laughs> And the dad and girl's laughing because the dad's pushing her swing and smells some tricks in it. On the Sunday morning sidewalk, I'm wishing, Lord, that I was stoned. Because there's something about a Sunday makes the body feel alone. And there's nothing short of dying that's quite as lonesome as the sound of the city sidewalks on Sunday morning coming down. Because he's a drunk who went out partying all Saturday night because he didn't keep the Sabbath holy. So Sunday just don't seem like it's supposed to because they're all home with their families cooking chicken and the little girl getting pushed in a swing and the kid kicking a can because they all got up out of church and they're going to eat. Man. The girl's got to swing. <laughs> Go to keep the Sabbath early. Pushing a little girl laughing on a swing is keeping any day holy. You can do that on Saturday too. Pushing, I've got pictures in there. One of my favorite possessions from Mrs. Buck's, was it second grade class or was it first grade? I can't remember, Mrs. Buck, you have to forgive me. But yeah, all the kids and half the pictures are in there of Mr. Parsons pushing them on the swing. It's one of the coolest things in the history of the world. Yeah, being the swing pusher, that's the only pusher I want to be. I'm the swing pusher, make sure you're careful. Hold on tight. Is this too high? Okay, you're good. All right, thanks, Mr. Parsons. Okay, <laughs> next, okay. <laughs> So you want to get going high, and they can get going, and they can get going longer. And then you teach them, okay, you got to pull your legs back in, and then lean your belt back, and all your legs. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay, and then they get better at it. And I don't need you. I can do it myself. Cool. Watch me. I can push off, do my legs, and I get my momentum going, and I can get going high. Be careful. Okay, don't jump out like they all said. You can hurt yourself. Okay? All right. Love you, too. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Parsons. Patrick's dad. <laughs> That's what I've known as Patrick's dad. <laughs> Patrick's dad, because that was the best <laughs> Yeah, like Tavion and Devin's grandfather said. <laughs> I, your name, I always forget. Tavion and Devin's grandfather will do. That's that's a great moniker. I could have that for the rest of eternity. Tavion and Devin's grandfather. That's that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Tavion Rogers' is grandfather, one of the most beautiful men you've ever met in your life. <laughs> and he's said two of the most beautiful young men you've ever met, and that's why he doesn't mind being called Tavion and Devin's grandfather. You get it? It's a great, that's a great name. <laughs> that's a, if I was known the rest of my life and known throughout history as Patrick's dad, <laughs> Emmy's dad, Kate's dad, my daddy, Natalie's dad, Noah's dad, Crumb's dad, I'd be fine with that. That's how they knew him. Sir, their dad. But he won't go down in history as Achilles and they won't remember his name. Do you remember what I taught you? Do you carry it on? Saying, that's all I want. <laughs> Just remember what we share, what we learn, and how we live. Remember me. Remember. Don't 
to be a memory all alone in the moonlight. I can think of it. It was beautiful then. I've never seen cats. Never. I don't want to see that. I'll post that today. Memory. Okay. Let the memory live again. That's pretty. Okay, I'll put that in. Now I'm not going to put Sweeney Todd in. Tell Gertie. How old is she now? That little girl is so darn cute. Tell Gertie I'm not doing Sweet Todd. We're going to do cats. She kept on wanting to talk her dad to seeing cats. You ever seen Jersey Girl? It's a good movie. Memory. Okay. Let the memory live again. That's what we'll name this one. This is our opening to segue to the Psycho uh, videos and then the finish up today. And we'll see how this all rolls, see how this works for you guys, okay? Enjoy your Sunday morning or your Sunday day. Uh, Sunday vigils. Vigils. <laughs> it's, it's a hell belly thing. Your vigils. Your food. All right. Enjoy your Sunday meal. I love you guys, all right? Dinner and a show. Blessings and peace.